Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make a basic risotto. Step 1. You'll need the following ingredients to serve 4 people. 750 millilitres of chicken stock, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, half an onion finely chopped, 1 clove of garlic minced, 2 bay leaves, 250 grams of short grain rice, preferably arborio, 200 millilitres of dry white wine or dry vermouth, 35 grams of butter, 35 grams of grated parmesan, and salt and pepper. Here is a quick summary of the ingredients in a handy list. You will also need the following utensils. Two saucepans, a ladle, and a wooden spoon. Step 2. Heat up the stock. Place a pan on a high heat and add the chicken stock, and bring to the boil. Once boiling, remove the pan from the heat and place on the back burner to keep warm. Step 3. Sweat onions and garlic. Place a second pan under a medium-high heat and allow to warm. Then add the olive oil, the onions, and stir them in with your wooden spoon, allowing them to sweat until they become translucent. Next add the garlic and stir it in well. Step 4. Add the rice. Now add the rice and stir to combine for about one minute. Then season with salt and pepper. Stir them in. Then add the wine, being very careful not to get splashed. And keep stirring to help it all absorb. Once the wine has absorbed, add the two bay leaves. Step 5. Add the stock. Add two ladles of chicken stock into the pan. We must keep it moist but not too wet. Before adding more stock, be sure that all the previous stock has been absorbed. Then add more stock and stir in. A useful tip. It's preferable to use a pan with low sides, as this helps evaporate the liquid. Repeat the ladling until all the stock has been used. The cooking process should take around 15 to 20 minutes. The rice should be soft but still have a bite. Step 6. Add in butter and cheese. Once cooked, remove the pan from the heat. Then fold in the butter, which simply means to mix in gently. And then add the parmesan cheese and fold in. Once everything has been folded in, remove the bay leaves. Step 7. Serve. Allow it to rest for a few minutes before serving. Then spoon a generous helping onto a serving plate and garnish with a sprig of thyme or other herb. A basic risotto can be served with any type of vegetable or seafood. It really is a very versatile and tasty dish. And that's how to make a basic risotto the video jug way. Enjoy!